guys, what's up? It's Ben Riker here back again. This is going to be Bioshock Part 14. We already went into the gunsmith shop. Now we got to go to that one place where they took Shenlin or some, some name like that. I blanked. Let me check it out. Yeah, Shenlin. Yep, yep, yep. So, so that's where we get to go. The moment you do, you will see what those hyenas are made of. I ask you... So this is like a brainwashed Nazi town where you can use their currency. It's pretty crazy. I don't know why everybody started attacking. Oh my god, this thing's scary as hell. It's like shaking the floor. In the in the heart. Oh, okay, okay, shoot in the heart. Here. Ammo, take it. Oh my god, he's just plowing kids now. I'm trying to shoot him in the heart, I'm trying, I swear. Oh my god. Why isn't it doing damage? Die already, damn it. Oh my god. That was crazy. That thing is literally insane. I really don't want to face that thing again. I really don't want to face one of those again. And there's just a random dead corpse he threw across the freaking area. Let's see if there's anything over here useful. Some health. Anything else at all? Can't see how I might have changed your sense of that. Protected me. Job's a job. Oh, volley gun. Ooh, I like. Oh, should I have the volley gun or the pistol? Hmm. I think I'll pick up the volley gun. This volley gun's pretty damn cool. Nowhere I can go over here yet, so. Stuck. Going back over here. Oh, look, gear. Angry Stompers. When extremely low on health, deal two times damage. I'll take it, but I'm not gonna, like, be putting it on. I don't think that's really worth it. In comparison to other things that I have. Because I don't plan on being that close of dying that much, so. And if I rely on being that close of dying, then. Probably not a good thing in the first place. Okay, I hear a turret now. There we go. Fang missions in Columbia sell many types of useful supplies. Alright, well, thanks. Couldn't quite tell that. What the hell? Alright, here we go. Devil's Kiss Boost. Bronco Aid. Adds ability to chain floating effect from one enemy to others. Yeah, I'll take that. That's actually pretty cool. So, and then, I can't afford that. And I can't afford that. Alright, whatever. No big deal. My salts are full currently. Thank you for the money. I appreciate that. Oh wow, I can get it now, can I? Yeah, I can. Thank you so much. She gave me just like a hundred basically right there. Escape. There we go. Yo, is this like a void? Or whatever it's called, like one of her pull through things. I've never heard that song before. I don't suspect anyone's heard that song. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Cigarettes, don't want those. Lockpick, there we go. Mm. 
Yo, if I've got the salts for this, I'm gonna use the vending machine. Yeah, there we go. I'll take it. Plus, since I've got so much salts now, I can just almost spam it, kind of, so. Take your time. I'm fine down here. Alright, I will take my time. What do we have up here? You know, I wasn't born deaf. <laughs> I hear what it is people are saying. And, uh, Go on without me. So what do we have here? Gear. Last man standing, on very low health, killing enemy, gives health. And that's for pants. Let me show comparison. Critical hit damage. Increase critical hit damage by 50%. Hmm. You know what? I can. I think I'll take that. I mean, it must be telling me something. There must be something really freaking hard coming up. They're giving me all this gear for, like, if you're about to die, you do bonus damage if you're about to die. You know. Etc. Another lock. I got eight. Wow. Oh, I've got. This is volley gun ammo. Go to the Good Time Club and rescue Shen. Do you avoid or whatever it's called? But whatever. It's okay to find something else. Think security checkpoint. Don't remember going over here, so this must be something. Okay, this is all health and ammo. Be my friend. Thank you very much. And you want to get any points, dude? I'll take it. What do we have here? A boxophone? Daisy Fitzroy. One day, ain't nobody noticed me. Then they think I done for Lady Comstock. Well, everybody noticed me. I head to Finkton, and I hide. I hide deep. The more they look, deeper I go. Only thing a color child can count on is affecting invisible. Alright. So that so that person was being chased after. Can we go into here? Yeah we can. This looks like it's the way to go. Oh yeah, this is the good time club. There we go. What is this a carbine? What is a carbine doing here? Is this blood? You know, the best kind of interview is one where the applicant doesn't know he's being evaluated. <laughs> but I've watched you since the other day at the lottery. You're a brute. And in times like this, I could use a brute. What do you want? Thank you. My labor on is money. coming to it. <laughs> now, Fitzroy has got the jungle all riled up. A man like me could have use of an old Pinkerton like you. Let's find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. Got an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a miss. limb working with them <laughs> yet.
shooting at me. Thank God he finally died. Catch. You can just you can just hand it to me when you're that close. Go ahead. Okay. That's all I have right now. Alright, are we good here? Hmm. I think that's it. Too. No, not this thing. Oh, damn it. more shots. Need this? Yes, yeah. I do need Ammo. that. Quite wrong. I'm not interested in your job, Fink. 
now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fitz Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. Okay, what do we have here? I think that's the way down. Oh god. Toxophone. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these doodads, you have lit the path for me as well. Good fight. Actually, nah. Ooh, I like the hand cannon though. Should I get rid of that for? Nah, I like this crank. Seems like it'll be more useful in the end. Lockpick, yay. Look, Chen Lin cell number nine. Chen Lin cell number nine. Solid. Why well, is he underlined? That's like, I know. It would be underlined for the purpose of this to make it easier but for us, but maybe he's got it rigged for something. That's what I'm thinking. Or maybe he's important. Call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Got it. Disposal. Are you still alive? I'm wondering. Alright, well nothing important over there right now that I need to attend to right away. So I can check up stuff like that. What did I just pick up? Any idea what it deciphers? No. Oh, the decipher thing. Okay. So now I the box code is all all the way back at that other place, right? So the only problem with that would be that I'd have to go back really, really far, but... Maybe I could go back after I'm done with this mission or whatever, getting the guy. There he is. It's pretty fucking creepy. Oh, looks like he's tortured. It's to tax the black more than the white, is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races, is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red, is that not cruel? He's slain. He looks... You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. Cruelty can be instructive. And what is Columbia if not the schoolhouse of the Lord? Poor guy. 